Hello and welcome. Are you noticing some issues with your Zern Wilkins 975XL2 Reduced Pressure Principle Backflow Preventer? No worries. We'll go through some troubleshooting and maintenance steps to get your assembly functioning properly again. Remember, only certified personnel should perform maintenance on backflow preventers. Faulty maintenance could result in an improperly functioning assembly. Testing should be done at least once a year or more as specified by your local codes. When identifying an issue with your 975XL2, here are some common problems that may signal a need for maintenance. Sudden or rapid spitting of water from the relief valve. A light intermittent drip. Or a heavy continuous discharge of water. First, let's gather some of the tools you'll need to complete your maintenance. We'll begin by showing you some diagnosing techniques to help you troubleshoot where your assembly is having trouble. Take note of the water discharging from the relief valve vent. Begin by closing the number two shutoff valve. Inspect the vent. If the discharge from the vent stopped or is reduced, you've diagnosed that the number two check valve is the source of a leak and may need maintenance. If water continues to discharge from the relief vent at the same rate, slowly open test cock number four until the flow of water matches the discharge volume. If the water has stopped discharging from the relief vent, then you've diagnosed that the number one check valve is the source of the leak and may need maintenance. This is the most common problem. If water continues to drip from the relief valve, then you've diagnosed that the relief valve is the source of the leak and may need maintenance. Now that you've diagnosed your problem, let's take the valve out of service and begin disassembling it. First, begin by closing the inlet and then the outlet shutoff valves. Open the number two, number three, and number four test cocks to release pressure from the valve. Next, unscrew the check valve covers using the appropriate sized wrench. Use caution when removing the check valve covers. They're spring-loaded and under tension. Firmly hold the cover while unscrewing to avoid unintentional ejection of the spring or cover, which could result in injury. Remove the check valve cover, the spring, and the poppet assembly. Pro tip, service the checks one at a time to avoid mixing parts. To access the seal ring, remove the screw and retaining washer. Inspect the rubber seal ring for cuts or embedded debris. If the reverse side of the seal ring is unused, it's possible to flip the seal ring as a temporary solution while you're waiting for new replacement parts. The seal ring should be replaced with a new seal ring as soon as possible. Replace any cracked, chipped, or broken parts with replacements from certified Zern repair kits. If the valve was installed with a removable seat, use a 975 seat tool to unscrew the seat from the body. Inspect the sharp edge of the seat for any damage. If needed, replace it with a new seat, lightly greasing the O-ring. Be careful not to cross-thread the new seat when installing it into the body. Reverse the previous procedures to reinstall the check valve assembly. Place the poppet assembly into the body Center the spring onto the poppet. Ensure that the heavy spring is installed in the number one check valve. Center the cover on the spring. Push the cover and thread it back into the body. Tighten with a wrench. Repeat the previous steps for check valve number two. Place the assembly in service and test per the testing procedures document for the 975XL2 on Zern.com. If you've diagnosed that the relief valve has a leak, then perform the following steps. Begin by removing the relief valve cover, bolts, and cover. The cover is spring-loaded, so leave two bolts that are opposite each other in place. Hold the cover tightly in place as you remove the last two bolts. Pull the cover straight away from the valve body. The relief valve cartridge will stay in the cover. Remove the spring. 
Gently pull on the diaphragm to remove the cartridge assembly from the cover. Next, disassemble the cartridge by unscrewing the relief valve retaining screw. Inspect the seal ring for cuts and embedded debris. Turn the seal ring over or replace it if needed. For a temporary fix, the seal ring can be flipped over while waiting for new replacement parts. Inspect the diaphragm and O-ring for any damage. Replace any required parts. Carefully reassemble the cartridge assembly and tighten the retaining screw. Next, lubricate the O-ring on the upper plunger. Inspect the sharp edge of the relief valve seat for wear or damage. Use the small end of your seat tool to unscrew the seat from the relief valve. If it's damaged, replace the seat and the seat O-ring. Make sure to lubricate the new O-ring. Be careful not to cross-thread the new seat when installing. Place the spring around the seat in the body. Insert the cartridge assembly onto the spring. Make sure the sensing hole in the body is properly aligned with the mating holes on the diaphragm and cover. Place the cover onto the cartridge assembly. Push the cover on the body. Thread two bolts into opposite sides of the cover by hand while holding the cover in place. Then thread the remaining bolts in place and tighten evenly. Place the assembly in service and test per the testing procedures document for the 975XL2 on Zern.com. Thank you for watching this troubleshooting and maintenance video for the Zern Wilkins 975XL2 Reduced Pressure Principle Backflow Preventer. We hope you found this information useful. If you need additional support, please reach out to our Zern customer care team. For other installation and troubleshooting videos, visit Zern's YouTube channel.